We check in with Court Clopping in the Storm Tracker Center, and he is walking you through when we're going to see the triple digits arrive in our area. Court? Well, Kelly, for most of us today, the triple digit heat is returning, especially if you're in our lower elevations. It's going to be bright and toasty for your Tuesday. We'll have breezy winds and dry conditions paired with the heat driving higher fire danger today than what we had yesterday as well. So it's a bigger concern for us and we have dangerous heat looming in your extended forecast. In fact, the heat is going to be so substantial that it's going to be something you're going to need to plan around for your Labor Day weekend that's on the way. As far as air quality goes, we're still looking good to moderate through the valley this morning. The green dots indicating good air quality observations, the yellow moderate. We are seeing air quality impacts close to and north of the Six River Complex this morning. That's where it's in the unhealthy to very unhealthy range. Throughout the day, the valley still looking pretty decent, so moderate to good while those air quality impacts stay close by to the Six River Complex and the conditions are fairly similar tomorrow. We're not going to see that smoke becoming more widespread. Lighter winds overnight helping to keep that in its same area and then the south winds in the afternoon and evening helping to usher that out. Now as we move forward into your extended forecast, we have an excessive heat watch that's been issued for the valley, foothills, and a portion of the northern Sierra from 11 a.m. Saturday through 8 p.m. Tuesday. Now this is several days off. We do not always see or it's not normal to see these issued this early on, but nonetheless, this is looking very likely that we're going to be dealing with that dangerous heat through your holiday weekend, and you're going to want to plan around it. So already start making those plans for the outdoor activities in the morning and staying indoors in the afternoons if you're able to. Temperatures starting out in the 60s to 70s in the valley and foothills this morning, 50s in most of our mountain zones with wind that's light and out of the northeast right now. Humidity is also going to be an issue this afternoon as it drops to below 30% and gusts of wind 25 miles an hour possible out of the south today. Winds not quite as strong tomorrow and it's a rinse and repeat pattern over the next few days. Lighter winds in the morning, stronger winds out of the south in the afternoons and evenings. Satellite and radar. I tracked some active weather across our region last night. Thunderstorms in areas of Lassen and Modoc counties, but that has now lifted to the north. High pressure building to the west from just off to our east is giving us the sunshine and the heat. That's going to continue to build late this week and through your weekend, and it dominates our forecast, leaving us with the heat and the dry conditions. Hyperlocal futurecast, just sunshine ahead for today. We'll see a few clouds just brushing on by our higher elevations, but doesn't look like any real threat of thunderstorms this evening. Getting a look at tomorrow, sunshine continues, and then checking in with your temperature trend for today, 90s to lower triple digits in the northern mountains. We'll end up with 80s to mid-90s in the Sierra and southern Cascades, 80s to 90s in the foothills as well, up to 94 degrees up on the ridge in Paradise, and triple-digit heat across the board for the valley, 104 degrees in Redding, 102 in Red Bluff, 101 for Orville, and 100 degrees in Chico for your Tuesday afternoon. So get ready. It is going to be toasty out there. Tomorrow looking just about identical to today, but the winds will not be quite as strong. Temperatures then trend up by a few degrees as that low pressure along the coast that's keeping our high temperatures in check exits. So we heat up into the 105 to 110 degree range, and then we get even hotter this weekend. Temperatures projected to be up to around 113 degrees possibly for our region this weekend. So be prepared, Kelly. This is dangerous heat that's heading your way.